have particular pleasure in introducing in Workers' Playtime for the second time two famous stars of stage, screen and radio. As a team, they're enormously popular throughout this country, and here they are, Elsie and Doris Waters, otherwise Gert and Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hello, boys. How are you? All right. That's right. Hello, good. How are you? Oh, I know you're all right well, anyway. Well, it's lazy. Come here. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Is your face dirty or is it my imagination? Well, my face is clean enough. I don't know what your imagination is. <laughs> and look at this. What you've got your gas mask for, Mr. Morrison said you needn't carry it when you're at home. Well, lovely. I've got to get me shopping in something. Oh, God. The row I've had with that... Now you just look at this. What's the matter now? Oh dear. There you are. Right. Smell it. Oh. <laughs> isn't it awful? Oh dear. It's a bit on the turn, isn't it? On the turn? I'm just halfway up the street. Oh. <laughs> Give it away, Daisy. Oh dear, oh dear. Look here, don't bother about that. I've got something funny to show you. Have you? Yes, in this book. You know, these people must be balmy, Daisy. Listen to this. Look. Answers to correspondence. Tell Auntie Bertha all about it. <clears throat> Dear Auntie Bertha, I've been walking out with my young man for 20 years. Do you think it would be right for me to let him kiss me now? <laughs> 20 years, you know. I should think they've forgotten what they're walking out for. You know, I like the romantic stories best. Oh, yeah. you know, oh yes, you know, where the bridegroom carries the bride over the threshold. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Daisy, when you was married, did Bert carry you over the threshold? No, I carried him. He couldn't walk. <laughs> I wish you'd been there. Oh, so do I. Did he go on for a long time? Well, the neighbours complained at nine, the neighbourhood at ten, the police at eleven, and the police van come at a quarter past. Oh, good. <laughs> I got a corner seat. Did you? <laughs> the one you usually get, you know. <laughs> oh, but the police had a lot of trouble with poor old Ted before we left the house. But I will say this for Ted, when Ted's had a couple, he doesn't get nasty, does Oh, no, no, never nasty. Yeah. Always a gentleman, very nice. Bit man. rowdy. Oh, you can't help it sometimes, no. can you? Well, I mean, you can't break the furniture up without making a little noise, can you? <laughs> oh, no, that's right, then. And when we got to the police station, the superintendent, you know the one, girl. Oh, I know, yeah. It was a ginger handlebar, you yeah. know. Yeah. I know, yeah. Um, oh, he was, he was quite nasty to us. Was he? Oh, well, that's and while was arguing the toss with him, the bride and bridegroom slipped off on their honeymoon. Oh, that's good. But they spend it. In the Anderson. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you honeymoon in the Anderson? Well, it's the next best thing to Blackpool, plenty of sand and water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's asked me to get some goldfish to keep in our Anderson. Oh, have you got them yet? Not yet. I've written to ask him whether he wants hard rose or soft. Oh. <laughs> Every time he writes, he's at the sum game or other, you know. I suppose his mind's on darts, as usual. Yes, yeah, of course it is. His colonel calls him the senseless headache. But he's always talking about darts when he writes to me. Oh? In this letter, he said he got a new double top. New double top? Yeah. Oh, that's easy, isn't it? Means he's got a new hat. That's right. That's right, right. yes. <laughs> And when he was inoculated, he said he was suffering on his double six. Oh, I know. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that, means, that means he was inoculated in his right arm. That's it, yes. yes. That's it. But what about when the mule kicked him in his double three? <laughs> You 
No, he's not a great scholar, girl. Oh, I know Just that. take his boots and socks off and count up to 20. I know. Oh, yeah. Poor old Bert. He always seems to fall on his feet, doesn't he, whatever he is. Even in the army. Is he getting on all right? Oh, rather. Gets on all right with everybody. That's good, of course. Gets on all right with them all, everybody. All the officers salute him right up to the Colonel. Well, who <laughs> does he? As a matter of fact, Bert and the Colonel smoke the same cigars. Mm. <laughs> Bert smokes the same cigars as the Colonel. Yes, well, the Colonel smokes the first half and Bert finishes them all. Oh, that's right. Oh, dear. Hey, dear, what did Bert join as? Did he tell him he was good at anything? Yes, he was said he was good at shorthand. Oh. Then they found out they were shorthanded in the cookhouse, and now he's feeling hard. <laughs> <laughs> now he's feeling potatoes for about 500 of them. Oh. My Wally was the cook in the last war. Was he? He got wounded twice. Oh. Mm. Well, Bert was cooked for two weeks, and they nearly killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, how is your Wally all right? Oh, he's lovely. Is he? Mm, rather. Do you know I'm going to get a lovely surprise for him? I'm going to write up to the BBC, going to ask him to play a record for my Walter. Oh, yeah? Yes. So if you write up to the BBC and ask him to play a record, they'll play any record you like to say, and that goes over the air to the one who is far away, and that's like a message of love. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Kurt. Don't you do it. Kurt, you I tell you what, here. Why don't you get him to play one for Bert? He'd be glad to hear from you. The best he would, of course he would. I wonder what I'd get him to play for him. That they anything you like, you've only got to say. Uh, oh, oh, love you, I know. What, please? I get along without you very well. <laughs> Daisy, you know you can't really get along without him. No, not really. It's an old rascal, but there you are. I know, but when we loved him when the war's over and they all come home, we're all together. Oh, okay. da-da. Daisy, well, yeah. when the war is over... Yes? And life, life's one long all clear... Yes? What are you going to do? Me? Yes. What am I going to do? <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, finally, you mean what are we all going to do? <laughs> Yeah, when the army and the air. 